Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. Now, don't tell me. I know what you're all wondering. What can the Mini NES fit inside? Don't tell me. I know. I know that's what you're thinking. Well, as it happens, I've managed to get my hands on a dummy unit. Yes, this thing, whilst it really does look the business, it doesn't actually have any guts that, well, I assume not. It's got all the ports and everything, but I'm just guessing they're not hooked up to anything. And on the back, it says non-working. Don't know if you can see that. It, it gets blurrier when I put it closer. Focus. But anyway, I was able to get in touch with a group of people who were able to help me answer this question that you've all got burning at the back of your minds. And more impressively, I even managed to secure a little interview with the man who compiled the list. So why don't we have a look at that? Professor Pringle, thank you for taking the time out to join us today. Thank you. So, first of all, can you tell us why you were so interested? What was, you, what was your main drive to get behind this project of ours? Well, one of the main things that people think of when they think of the, 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 mini. the mini NES is its size. It really is quite a lot smaller than normal sized consoles. And we felt it was important to make the public aware of just how much smaller it is because no, normal consoles are so much bigger. They're generally just stored on shelves and boudoirs and ottomans so we wanted to make the public know where you can contain this new con console safely. And uh, this list that you've compiled for us, it's not just things that it will fit in, it's also including certain sort of common household items that it won't fit in. That's right, isn't it? Yes. Well, Peter, it's been a tremendous pleasure talking to you today, and uh, thank you again for all your involvement, and for the people who are watching, why don't we check out the uh, fruits of the Ministry's labour, shall we? Well, there you have it. I hope you found this 100% comprehensive list to your satisfaction, and I hope it comes in really handy when you get the console later on in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you make a needlessly complex and convoluted list of things that that subscribe and will and won't fit inside, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh.